If you have to take your cat to the vet, go on holiday for a week or rearrange its favorite furniture, it may sulk for a while. But it won't be long before it returns to its normal behavior and everything is back to normal. But there is one thing that can permanently damage your relationship with your cat. It's absolutely toxic to their well-being. And it is. Punishing or disciplining your cat is the worst thing you can do. Why is it wrong and what should you do instead? Let me explain. Number 1. Cats don't think they're doing anything wrong and the truth is, in the cat's world, they don't either. It's your human world where your cat is misbehaving. Your cat doesn't understand why scratching the couch, jumping on the counter or knocking things over is wrong. Since cats don't understand why you think they are misbehaving, they also don't understand the idea of punishment. They just think that you, a person they should love and trust, is suddenly cruel and scary. And that can unsettle them and make them afraid of you. Number 2. You're a monster. Not really, of course. But think about how you look to a cat. You're bigger and weigh a lot more. Compared to your cat, you're a giant. And even if your cat trusts you, it knows that you can easily hurt it, intentionally or unintentionally. So when you walk around angrily shouting at your cat, brandishing a spray bottle or towering over it in a threatening manner, you look pretty monstrous. Even if you would never hurt your cat, they don't know it when you behave like this. Punishing a cat or losing your temper in its presence can cause insecurity, destroy trust and damage the bond between you and your cat. It also won't improve the cat's behavior. It will either do it when you're not around to see it, or it will find another, perhaps worse, way to act out, solving cat behavior problems without punishment. Okay, so you resolve to control your temper when your cat misbehaves, and you vow not to use mean tactics, such as using a spray bottle, but you still need to do something to stop your cat. Here are some suggestions. If your cat is always jumping on the table, offer it other high viewing platforms. If it gets in your way or meows because it's bored, Grab its favorite toy or give it something else to do. Give your cat more attention so that it does not get any silly ideas. And reward good behavior. Stroke it or give it a favorite treat. If you would now like to know when your cat needs to go to the vet immediately, then watch the video I have linked here.